are we heading into a balanced market as in real estate balanced market if you've been keeping an eye on the housing market over the past couple of years you know sellers have had upper hand multiple offers over asking price but is that going to shift now that inventory is growing here is a breakdown of what you need to know if we have a balanced market hey there this is kg i'm a realtor in the dmv area if you're looking to buy sell or invest in real estate let's connect and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel drop me a comment like the video and if you are already a subscriber thank you thank you thank you thank you so are we heading into a balanced market first definition what is the balanced market as far as real estate is concerned a balanced market is generally defined as a market with about five to seven months supply of homes available for sale in this type of market neither buyers nor sellers have a clear advantage prices tend to stabilize and there is a healthy number of homes to choose from. Phew, don't you wonder? After many years when sellers had all the leverage, a more balanced market would be a welcome relief site for people looking to move. Affordability is at an all-time low. So the question is, is that really where the market is headed? So after starting the year, the beginning of 2024, with a three-month supply of homes, phew, nationally, that is low. But inventory have increased now to four-month supply. Remember, a balanced market is four to seven months. That may not sound like a lot, but it means the market is getting closer to balanced market. Even though it's not quite there yet, it is important to know that increase, it is very important to know the increase in inventory is not leading to an oversupply that will cause a crash. No. Even with the growth that we've had lately in inventory, there were nowhere near enough supply to make that happen. We're still very, very low in inventory of home for sale. So the latest data from National Association of Realtors, you know, they keep data, kind of gives up their idea nationally where inventory has been in the last three years and where it is today. So let's break it down. In 2021, COVID year, right? Over 6 million units homes were sold in the US. In 2022, 5 million, a little bit over 5 million are sold in 2022. In 2023, 3.8 million homes were sold. As of July of this year, only 3.9 million homes were sold. So for now, it is still a seller's market. It's just not as frenzy as it was before. It has been, you know, in the last year. So how, if this happened, how is this shift impact if you're a buyer or a seller, you know, what, what, what the market condition will likely be for you in a balanced market. So this is what will happen. First, homes are going to be on the market longer. Since more homes are on the market, they are not selling quite as fast as that as it was before. For buyers, this means you may have more time to find the right home. If you're a seller, it is important to price your house right if you want to sell it. If you don't, buyers might just choose a better price option, a better price home option. The second thing is sellers are going to be receiving fewer offers. You know, during the frenzy of the last few years, we have multiple offers. So as a seller, you might need to be more flexible and willing to compromise on price and terms to close the deal. This is the market, if it's a balanced market. For buyers, you 
as a buyer, if you're a buyer in a balanced market, you're going to face less intense competition, less intense competition, since you have more options to choose from. The third thing that will happen in the balanced market is because there are fewer buyers, fewer buyers are going to do home inspection. You know, they're going to do home inspection, they're going to negotiate because now they have negotiating power. So fewer buyers are going to not waive home inspection. So for buyers, for sellers, what this means is you need to be ready to negotiate and address repairs requests to keep the deal the sale moving forward. So if your house is in the market and the sell the buyer comes back with repairs, you need to be flexible to do this because we're in a balanced market. So you also know this is just a national picture, right? Every market is local. Hence, you know, the need when we're talking we're talking generally, hence the need to get a local expert before you make your decision don't listen to the national news you want to talk to a local expert like myself so to know where the market is how the market is changing you know this will give you a big advantage so for less for the latest data look at insights let's connect so that i will let you know what is going on in the dmv area and make it happen and how to navigate it successfully so the bottom line is really real estate market is always, always changing. And so if you are in the market, it is important to stay informed. So whether you're buying or selling, it is very important to understand how the market is shifting towards a balanced market. And this can help you. So if you have any question or concern or want to find out what the market is in the DMV area, let's connect until next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment. If you have a question, please, please let me know. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Happy real estate balance market, right? Yeah, you want that.